Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play of XCOM UFO Defense. Come on, little ship. We cleared that one out. There wasn't another. No, we cleared that last time. Right, 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 right. So we think there's a base down uh, here somewhere. We're not really gonna do anything about it for a while. Um. What were we starting to make now? We're, yeah, right, we're making tons and tons of laser cannons. Because we just want to have a positive budget. Yeah, there's a lot of new replacements. There's the hover tanks, excellent. There's the other replacement. Alien base in the Pacific, huh? Uh, I don't know if we can capture that. 2400, yeah, I think we have enough speed for it. It crashed landed, but it crashed landed in Sweden. Who cares about Sweden, huh? It's also an ethereal craft. Um. Yeah, they're very active in the Antarctic, I know. Not much I can do about that right now, though. Mm, in areas? No, that's areas. Alien activity in countries. Uh, that's because we had one UFO crash there. And we have plenty of score. So maybe it's time to just start, start uh, be cherry, cherry picking uh, the aircraft we go and actually clear. I think so. I mean, we have all the research we need, we have the funds we need. Uh, so I'm gonna make a save on the top of the here, save and then zero one. Uh, that's gonna be a, this special save. From, from now on we're not gonna go and bother with the cleaning up UFO sites, unless they are valuable, or if they are within... Actually, they're still valuable. It's just that I hate losing troops. <laughs> And even this new armor just it, it just... it just isn't enough. They die so easily. Now nah, we're gonna gamble that we can just keep our float with production costs instead of... Spend, yeah, instead of raiding them for loot. I think we can go... whoa! That one is, on the other hand, a bit in, more interesting. Um... Yeah, we'll just stop at the start at the top there. Uh, save two. That one. Oh. <laughs> it is a battleship. He's heading straight for me. No. It was infiltration, right? Yes, yeah, infiltration. Uh. Large UFO, very high. Okay, that one's irksome. Still very fast, and we still need to rearm the firestorm before we can do anything. Let's so wait until it's shifted direction. Because that means it's a slow down. Uh, firestorm is still rear. Ugh. I did save. Let's see if we can get a, a, the Avenger. Of course, I probably should get the people out of it but before you attack, but hey. This is a big bad UFO. There we go. Crashed it. In the ocean. That's fine, I just wanted to get rid of it. Uh, Firestorm 1 is ready, good. We have another UFO ready to 
kill. And this is a supply UFO. Well, both of those would be nice to loot, of course, but uh, shooting them down is nice too. And yeah, we're not going to recover that one. At this point, I think we'll just sit back, we'll build up our bases, build up our base defenses. Um, speaking of... Yeah, actually, we're still researching the last two, right? Yeah. Fusion defenses. Just want to finish all the research stuffs. And they should be mad at us for not you know, salvaging. Oh. Um. They shouldn't be mad at us for not salvaging the UFO stuff, but you never know. Yeah, sell all these extra laser cannons. And you know, I don't think we need quite so many power sources. Sell a few of those. And sell some of the heavy plasmas. Yeah, 200 is more than enough, I think, for what we're gonna do later, maybe. Five launcher, 30 stun bombs. Don't think we're gonna be recovering many more live specimens. I think we have most of them. Not the mine probes, by the way. Uh, get rid of all but one. And toss out the excess alloys as well. And then I want to see what date is it. It is the 24th, so... <coughs> can still manufacture quite a few laser guns. Yeah, they have to manufacture a fair few number of them to <laughs> to pay for their uh, own upkeep, but uh, why not? There we go. Six days. Perfect. Oh, this site remains quite a while. Uh, oh, right, because I've been losing soldiers very slowly. Okay, that's fine. Living quarters at Shandong. Good, that means you're gonna get... <coughs> Sorry. That means we are gonna recruit more soldiers here. Uh, not that many. Uh, you had seven, so I think you need 13. Right, yeah, 20 soldiers. That's going to be how many we have psych capacity for. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> I could tear down this one now. Yes, we're going to... No. No, alright, we can't. This one isn't finished yet. No. And the rest of you... Yeah, you're going to be fin finishing things very soon. I suppose it's time to consider the hangars here, actually. I mean, they do take a while to build. more. Way to go, my friend. Uh, do I want multiple interceptors here or more base defense stuffs? Probably the latter. No, actually, I don't need these items anymore either. Uh, tear down that one. You have the missiles, you have that. You don't have the grab shield. 
ridiculously expensive, but okay. And right, now you need to finish this before I can dismantle that one. E. Okay. You do have the grab shield. In the queue. Ah, that's fine, we're gonna wait. Not enough money, yeah. Still have a few days left, so let's start another batch. Mm, 20 maybe. Yeah, that's about two days. That sounds like good enough. Good, Shenlong now has the Scilabs operational. Very good. So we could tear down this and build something else, which we are gonna do. Because you don't have the grab shield. Uh, 2400, you're too fast, unfortunately, for our regular interceptors, so I can't reach you. And since you're going to North America, there's no way I can actually catch you, can I? At least you say you're going to North America. Quite the way you, quite the way you're taking, ugh, words. Quite the way you're taking there, though. I lost track of them. Oh well. Shouldn't get a message if I. Oh, no, 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 you didn't get. You didn't give me a message for retracking it. Boo! I thought you would. Okay. Hurry. You might still just blow it to pieces. Preferably overseas. Actually, no, we would actually get more if we blew up, blew it up inside the country, but then we'd have to clear it. That's true. And I'm feeling lazy right now. Yes, little dot UFO. There you go. Down in the, down in the drink it went. Great, a whole bunch of new people. Yeah, at least we got manufactured. Still have a few hours left. Let's make another 10, 10 laser cannons, at the very least. Would have been great to have a button here called All. Apply all engineers. All hands on deck. That's yeah, gonna finish in 21 hours, that's fine. So I'm gonna sell all that, and then... Gonna... The research completed. Mind probe. The mind probe is an alien communication device which is used to take information directly from brainwaves. XCOM units can use this device in combat to display an alien's char characteristics. Click on the mind probe and the use option, then click on the alien with the cursor. And we are going to do that, but first we're going to research something else. <sighs> we're going to research... where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Plasma defenses. I want all my bases to have all the defenses and the grab shield. Just for funsies. Okay. Now we just wait for the manufacturing to finish. There it went. We're gonna sell that stuff. Then we're gonna call it a month, I think. Yeah, 
we're gonna do that. Um, no, I'll wait one day with building more stuff. Building more stuff, sis. Better to keep the money in reserve, just in case I need it. I'm not quite sure on the budget there, so... Okay, everything looks good. We gain another 1.4 million in monthly income. Quite a few countries are very happy. And of course we're going to do psionic training. So let's see how many more rookies do you have to get. Four. Five, six. Okay, so we lost six troopers this month. And of course all of you guys are going to be put through the ringer. And there we go. Yeah, I was wondering about that. There we go. Alien base in Antarctica. And that's a floater base. So I really want to keep that one. I can dismantle this one. This is a sectoid base. And I'd much, right, much rather f fight uh, floater supply ships than sectoid supply ships. But that's just me. Generate. Okay, lasers and missile defenses are up. The grav shield is operational. We didn't lose money, that's great. Now we can build more facilities. Uh, we're not going to have more than a single interceptor on all these bases, I think. Or are we? Well, I did set up Claymore to be a secondary research base. I could transfer all my research stuff there. I mean, they have both the facility. They have all the facilities for it. That would allow me to tear down these things. Mm, I'll wait until we finish the next research project. And I just might relocate some scientists over there. And that means I'm going to keep those. Uh, we're still no. Yeah, we're. I think one is enough. One hangar. Uh, Instead, I need to make sure that you have all the defense systems and everything like that, and I think you do. Or I can just hire more stuff over here, actually. I mean, we have enough stuff to research on anyway. And we have enough money right now. Yeah, why the hell not? Let's recruit a ton of scientists. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we can afford it, but uh, it would basically wipe our bank account. Um, I want to sell these two things anyway. I could sell all the heavy plasmas, that's a bit of money, but I uh, kind of wanted to keep them too. Um, I can get half the stuff at least, yeah. 50 scientists now. 50 on completion. Okay, there we go. Uh, we are going to need stuff to protect you. Which means you are going to need some side labs and stuffs. So let's start that. You got a side up already, you're building that base, all the base defenses. Uh, other than that, you're going to be an interception base, so you won't need any other structures save. Uh, well, you could use another side lab. I think I have 20 soldiers living here in training, and of course, these facilities. They all need another living quarters. Oops, no, we can't build there, I know. Uh, living quarters. 
It's a lab. There's the living quarter. Clickety. Okay, so now all you guys are finishing up your stuffs. Uh, yeah. We, yeah, we're still researching the last one. That's true. Okay, and uh, we're gonna manufacture a few laser cannons for monies. Of course, we don't have any money to produce with, so we will not be able to produce all of those. <laughs> there we go, a supply ship. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess it's time to test our new and improved system. Let's see, first of all. Yeah, right. First, we have to go through all our all our soldiers and make sure that they are all uh, accounted for with the new ratings. Let's see. You are brave. That's fine. Marksman, yes. Um, psionic strength. Yeah, it's below sixty. You deserve the V. Uh, brave, yeah, that's fine. Almost on accuracy now. Sonic strength, you're, you're, that's run of the mill. Coward and weak, yes, you're below 40. When I said 60, right? No, below 60, yeah. You're a psychic, you are definitely going to be protected. You are still unknown, that's true. Uh, yeah, those are the correct stats. You're not unknown anymore, you're actually pretty good. About 60. That, let's see, it was about 80 we gained my fee, yeah. So you will just have your M. You are definitely still an unknown. Unknown coward. You are brave and a marksman. An unknown psi. BMU. BMP, yes. Lester, you are an certain MVP. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Uh, you are actually a P. P what psychic? Uh, C and marksman and unknown. Big secret codes. This uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I fear I've done myself a disfavor because I think we've been sending out our Psy soldiers to die. Quite a few of them, actually. I could always start giving them all different names, rename their entire roster, rename to them, rename, ah, rename them to function, for example. That would certainly make it easier to vet out which of my troops are actually part of the side core. That, or I can just spend a few seconds actually reading the code I'm setting in here. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's going to be very unlikely that they get enough firing accuracy now, because there are not many promotions. Promotions happen when people die at this point, and that's kind of... kind of sad. You deserve some ratings, at least. You... Or actually, no, you don't. You're completely run of the mill. Huh. Huh. 
Huh. Can I go through the whole list? No, you're not alone. You are, in fact, a psychic. And you, on the other end, is not a psychic. No, I think we've gone full roster. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. <clears throat> Time to equip the aircraft, because we're not going to have as many crew members anymore. Um, this was a floater thingy, Bob, so I don't really need the... Don't need the side guys. I actually did... I was supposed to not keep bringing more people, wasn't I? Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. And that for now. Let's begin. Let's give me a second. Yeah, equipment, because we wanted to bring two hover tanks. And one of the mine probes as well. Um. The high striking on this mission is going to be... Yeah, that's fine. Actually, we want more psychics. Uh, since I want to train them. Or more correctly, I want to use them. Did we have any psychics that were ready to go? Yeah, you're ready to go. You're wounded. You're good to go. That seems it. In that case, I just want to pick from the top of the list. Simply because they'll be in the front front of the aircraft. And that means they'll be, well, expendable. <laughs> okay, armor. Uh, you won't need a power suit, so you will need one. Actually, you need the flying suits. No, you won't need, because you're never going to leave this, the ship. You're psychic, you're not allowed to leave the ship. That's actually one way of fixing that, now that I think about it. Just give them worse armor. <laughs> That's certainly one way of quickly distinguishing them. Ah, uh... There we go, keep the bar suit. Da, da, da. Flying, 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 that's fine. And I don't have more, more power suits, so I can't actually switch this around. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and we've already all got all the bits and pieces, and we are ready to go. Finally! So that means we are going to set an intercept for Avenger 1 to this base. I do think you have the range for it. That's going to be funny to see, actually. Let's make a quick save. Um, alien supplies, so why aren't you actually going to the base? This is a problem if I don't spot them. Um, <laughs> uh, and he's heading for Europe, there's no way I can intercept that one. I need to start getting more of those ships. But yeah, uh, we actually saw this floater ship, but it didn't go straight for the base. And it's not over there. 
That's more than a little annoying. There it is, finally. I was almost a bit worried that it wouldn't show up. Yeah, go for UFO 91. And let's see if I can remember that we actually have another one. Heading for Europe. But that will be another time, I think. Because I believe we need a break. Thank you for watching.